117359. Ro Robert, are you out there? Is that you? Yeah, okay, so remember when I call your name, just come up because the four score people to get seated are the people who play. And everybody who gets called up and plays gets a raffle ticket for a chance to win the truck. Enjoying in the land. Well, I enjoy uh, in the land. I really not playing on multiplayer games, but uh, recently I, I've been liking uh, uh, Rage. I uh -huh. played it inside the booth in there, and that's a wonderful game. I love it. Uh, thanks to uh, ID Software and all the folks that's uh, producing that game, that they did a work great job. All right, now I've been playing Call of Duty and some StarCraft too. Fear, uh, Quick Live. Uh, I've been playing some Quake Live, a little Left 4 Dead 2, some Black Ops, a lot of different games actually. A little bit of the Minecraft server right now, and Brink with some friends. Left 4 Dead 2. We, uh, me and my, my friends bought a bunch of games for QuakeCon, and uh, Left 4 Dead 2 is one of them. Right now, Minecraft is mostly what I'm playing, and Team Fortress 2 as well. Team Fortress 2 mainly, I'm gonna get started on some LoL later, and I'm just starting up on Heroes of New Earth too. But, uh, my off time and like no one's playing later on. I do a lot of Crisis 2 and stuff like that. I usually play Quake 3 or Quake 4. What swag do you hope to win while you're at Quake? Quake uh, hopefully I can win some video cards, some uh, uh, SSD drives, uh, <laughs> whatever you have available. That'd be fine with Okay, me. cool. I was kind of hoping for one of those cases, uh, Cool Master cases. T-shirts. More T-shirts, man. They've been really light on T-shirts this year. More T-shirts, so I don't have to do laundry. Uh, nothing really. Like this is the first year I've come and hadn't just been gung ho about going to the convention. I just wanted to get <laughs> play video games. <laughs> cool. Well, I'd like to get a T-shirt. I would. Uh, I'd like that rage truck, but I mean, that's pretty. Uh, pretty high chances, I guess. Cool. If, uh, they're, they're actually, in a bunch of the raffle boxes, there's a whole tickets that people drop in there, so I'm counting across my fingers. But tell me about your case design and features and, and how you came up with what you have. Well, uh, when I uh, decided on doing this case board, I, uh, I was shopping at Hobby Lobby and I saw uh, the wooden mannequins that they have in Hobby Lobby and that kind of sparked my uh, thoughts and I started brainstorming and it just uh, it just tricked my mind to do something with those uh, wooden mannequins so that just started from there. I spray painted it uh, to make it look like digital camo just some Air Force looking colors and then I used a plasma torch on the other side to cut the Air Force logo out of it and then I put uh, some blue cold cathode lights in it to light up the logo and frosted the glass so it would just shine up a little bit better. Basically just a clean build, uh, 800D water cooled. Uh, mainly I just go for the clean build, you know, no cables showing, things like that. Um, it's a full water cooled system using antifreeze uh, in a little small form factor case. I wanted to do something that was pretty sturdy and was open air and different than kind of usual boxiness of cases, so I came up with this. It, um, it's quarter inch steel, one inch um, thick bulletproof glass, five millimeter aluminum, so it's built pretty solidly and um, it does expose all the components, but it goes in a really small footprint, which is good because my desk at home is really tiny, Okay. and I have my monitor and so I need to be able to fit it on the desk, so okay. that's kind of what I came up with. Yeah, I was gonna go black lights throughout the whole thing, and they didn't have black lights, so I just put blue ones in there. And then I got the idea. I was like, well, I just want to make like all the panels just be like a panel of light. Well, I've got about six deltas in there, and the three in the front right now are uh, three 150 CFM fans, and I've got uh, two 10 in the back. But earlier, I had to switch the fans out because the pressure differential was kind of stressing the fans a bit. Well, I built the whole case from the bottom up. I bought everything at Home Depot and Lowe's and all the CD drives, the hard drive base and everything. All the wheels on the bottom actually have springs so I could tow the whole thing on the ground. 
and the whole thing folds open. There's two actually kind of sides to a cube and they all kind of fold together like a huge puzzle almost. Liquid immersion cooled the system uh, okay. using uh, Novex 7000 uh, fluid, which is a fluid made by 3M. Uh, we're basically uh, boiling at uh, 34 degrees C or about 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and we're uh, basically uh, loading the processors fully, um, both the GPU and CPU. And we're getting about 141 degrees on the processor and uh, essentially 136 degrees on the uh, GPU. Um, basically, we're uh, turning it into vapor, uh, which then goes up into our condenser and uh, gets recondensed into liquid. Can you tell me about the system specs on this? Uh, it, it, right now, it has a ASUS uh, Rampage 3 Genie board in it with the Intel 950 and uh, 12 gigs of RAM and uh, three SSDs, uh, uh, two 128s, and a 120 uh, gigabyte, uh, uh, terabyte uh, uh, drive. And it has a uh, uh, two video cards, uh, uh, NVIDIA EVGA GTX 465s, and SLI, uh, and uh, the water is water cooled. The CPU and the video card. It's a dual core AMD Phenom two processor, uh, eight gigs of RAM, 750 gig hard drive, and a Corsair power supply, and a radar uh, ATI 68. Uh, Intel i7-930, uh, EVGA, GTX 560 Ti Dual, uh, Corsair AX1200 power supply, uh, SSD hard drive, things like that. Uh, it's uh, quad core Core i5 at 4.5 gigahertz. Cool. I noticed you kind of have a little uh, radiator jammed in there. Is, is it hard to work in? Yeah, it's terrible. Um, the hard drive is jammed like in the bottom of the case where it's not supposed to go. And yeah, you pretty much have to pull the water cooling stuff out to do anything. <laughs> It's an i7-2600K, it has a Sapphire Pure Black um, P67 motherboard, the Patriot Wildfire 550 megabyte per second read, um, 120 gigabyte um, SSD, and of course 269 50s from Sapphire. System specs, yeah, I got a Phenom 2 Black 550, uh, I don't know what my graphics card is, I just got it, it's uh, something pretty good, I'm, I'm not sure, I got a gigabit motherboard, uh, it's a 680 watt power supply. 4 gigs of uh, 1600 DDR3. Um, wish I could remember my power or my uh, graphics card. It's like Radeon 5570, I think. An i7 920, and I'm running two 4870s in Crossfire. A Core i7 with a basic 3.4 gigahertz. It can be turbo boosted to 3.8, but I haven't done so yet. It's got a 5870 HD with about a gig of RAM and a GDDR5. Then it's got a 60 gig SSD Agility 3, the, um, also a terabyte and a half. My whole operating system is all installed on the hard drive, so it's a 64-bit operating system. It goes so much faster. 4i7-875K uh, at 2.93 gigahertz uh, and a uh, Zotac uh, 460 uh, at stock clock, I believe it's 810 on that particular, with 1024 uh, on the RAM. Um, my RAM is uh, two sticks of uh, Crucial Ballistics at 1333. If you had to pick one thing you're proudest about about this mod, what would, what would it be? I like the, the art of it. Uh, it's something totally different from anything else you've seen. Uh, I looked on internet, um, case mods uh, around the world, and I decided to do something different. So it's, it's between art and, and a gaming PC, basically. And lastly, what got you into case modding? Uh, really, what really started me, uh, I used to look at this magazine called PC Maximum, and they used to uh, preview uh, case mods. And you know, I looked at it, and I really didn't want to do it at the time, and I never thought I could really do anything to that to that mm -hmm. fact. And uh, that kind of started my thoughts over case mods. Yeah.